What's up, YouTube? I am very pissed off right now. I went to a Sandestin today to go for a swim. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm getting in the water. Lifeguards blow their whistle at me, tell me not to go in. But specifically, I called the main guy in charge and let him know that, hey, I'm going swimming. He said, okay, you're good. But still, they blow the whistle and harass me. I'm get, I get out there to start swimming. I go out about a quarter mile. I turn a left, and I'm swimming along. Everything's good big swimming through the big 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 waves happy as I can be and all of a sudden here comes two lifeguards on a jet ski you can see my diagram right here they they they, they start coming towards me and you know I'm not gonna lie I'm, I had a little trouble hearing them so they got closer to me but I specifically said keep back 10 feet and guess what I knew I was staying in place but they left that thing running and guess what they literally got nearly two feet from me I kept yelling get back keep that thing back from me and they literally almost ran me over and they're going we're sorry we're sorry i'm thinking to myself that's not good enough they asked me why are you out this far i said one simple answer it's because i want to be left alone how hard is that when i'm swimming i want to be able to relax i want to be left alone i don't want to be bothered but no people always have to bitch and complain call 911 for what so finally i keep swimming they go their uh, own way and you know, I, I'm going my own way, and, you know, I swim back to shore about 20, maybe 30 minutes later. I run down the beach. Nobody bothers me, and there were some people who were very positive about what, you know, my swim. They thought that was pretty cool, and there were these people saying that some about nearly 100 people were gathering around watching me, and supposedly a bet was being made that, oh, oh, let's see if he makes it back. Let's see if he makes it back. But, of course, I made it back. You know, I talked to people for a few minutes. Everything was good, and I was just, a, you know, about to uh, leave. And I hear I hear something. I look behind me as just as I'm showering, and the San Destin or Baytown Wharf security guard guy walks up behind me, you know, saying, oh, we were worried about you. We were concerned. And I said, sir, there's no, there's no, there's no reason to be worried about me. I am Florida's toughest swimmer. And then they kept asking me all kinds of questions. You staying here, blah, 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 blah. And, of course, you know, I said, I'm going to revoke my Fifth Amendment right and remain silent at this time. And then I said, am I detained or am I free to go? And so, oh, yeah, you're free to go. And, you know, of course, they followed me a little bit more. You know, I was getting, I was wondering, it's like, what the big deal is in the course? I get back to my bike and guess what? Here, here they come walking by me, trying to talk to me again. And of course, I simply said the same thing: I'm going to revoke my Fifth Amendment right. I'm not going to say anything else. And then the guy said, "Don't worry, I'm walking by. I'm not going to say anything else to him." Or I heard that, I'm like, "Hmm, okay, we'll see." So I get back to my bike. And I'm just about to ride away, and I feel something. Something does not feel right. And guess what? Somebody took my pistol a, a valve stem and, and they actually o opened it up and they let all the air out of the back tire so i had to push the stupid bike home about four or five miles six miles something like that I, ha I have to go back and check how far it is but yeah somebody sabotaged me if i find out who did it, i'm gonna kick their fucking ass whoever sabotaged my bike i'm gonna kick their fucking ass I'm fucking pissed. I had to push that bike home in 100 degrees heat. Now that tire's probably ruined. The inner tube is ruined. The, r the rim could be damaged. I have to go and look at it and see, w see what I need to do to fix it. But yeah, I am pissed. I'm tired of all the harassment. I'm tired of people sabotaging my shit. I had an extension cord st st stolen stolen for, for, from me uh, at my sale about a week ago. That pissed me off. And now my bike, it's like, what the hell is wrong with people? Yeah, so I finally make it, make it home. After nearly two hours of pushing the bike, I called the main guy in charge. And guess what? He didn't even care. And I'm thinking to myself, you, you don't care that I almost got ran over by, by your lifeguards who are supposed to be saving people's lives. But no, they go around harassing people, almost running people over with their jet skis. You know, this is the shit that I'm tired of. Why can't we just all get along and leave each other's stuff alone? Why can't people just simply be relaxed? But no, it's, it's, it's always something, and I'm sick of it. But yeah, guys, that's the story of today, and I'm probably going to take a nap here in a little bit. Maybe I'll go work on the bike, but yeah, please subscribe for the latest content. And yeah, by the way, this is the uh, diagram of, 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 of where the uh, incident took place at today. Yeah, you, yeah you, here, let me get a little closer. Okay, guys, I got to go. Remember, subscribe. I'll see you later.